Good morning. My name is Kelly Bowker, and welcome to my channel, Present Moment Magic. I want to talk this morning about dealing with our frequency, how much of a struggle it is, even knowing everything that I know, things that I have been told from non-physical energy, and I still struggle sometimes with maintaining my frequency. So let's start at the beginning of this. We all know that where our frequency is, is millisecond by millisecond creating our reality. I know that as much as I know I'm sitting right here on this couch. I know that when I'm having, when I keep my frequency high, that I am creating the things in my life that I want. I'm creating the joy, I'm creating the abundance, the abundance of love, the abundance of time, the abundance of fun. I'm creating all of that. And yet in the day-to-day -day life, we are programmed just in our brains to start ruminating on things when we're, when we're not paying attention. It's really when we're not paying attention, when we're not living deliberately. So I guess this is a call to action for all of us, including me, to start living deliberately because I was puttering around on some videos this morning and I was starting to get a little frustrated because as most of you know, I'm not that great with technology. I'm learning though. I need to clean up my language around that because I'm doing much better all the time. I'm learning new things all the time, which is great and I love it. But I was getting a little bit frustrated and I just got this knowing in my mind. I heard them in my head say, if this is going to cause you angst, it's not the time for you to be doing it. And I thought, huh. And I just settled into my body and I thought, oh my God, I'm growling. <laughs> I, I'm, I was tense. I was really tense. And I thought, that's not what this is about. This is about joy. This is about joy. This is about sharing my message with the world in a joyful manner. And that was when they nudged me and they said, why don't you share what you know about how throughout the day, it is a moment by moment calling back to living deliberately. And that really is the truth. So what are some of the things that we can do? I, I think for me, it is about just realizing consciously and deliberately realizing where am I in any given moment. And I think I would start by saying, start our day with setting our intention that I'm going to be aware of my vibrational output. And the way we do that is we speak it, we speak it to the universe. We say, I, from my place of sovereignty, with my free will, I choose to live deliberately today. I choose to be aware of my frequency and I ask all the angels, all the beings of light to remind me to check in with myself throughout the day. And then you are calling in all the help that's available. I think of how people are referring to the, to the um, angels in heaven, calling them the unemployed angels. And that does make sense because people aren't praying anymore. People, I think kind of because of the law of attraction, everyone is so intent on creating their own life that they're forgetting that there are beings of light that love us completely that are here to help us. But we live in a world of free will. And if we don't put out the invitation, then their hands are kind of, or their wings are kind of tied. And so when we state that intention, that is the invitation for all of the beings of light to be able to help us. We have help from past loved ones. We have help from ancestors, angels, so many beings of light that love us so completely. And they can help us if we ask them. But because of our free will, we have to ask. So start. let's start our day by setting that intention because intention is powerful. Intention is like the, the name of the recipe. You set that intention and then all the other stuff will fall into place to create that intention. But how often, even myself, how often do I actually remember 
to clearly sit within myself and think, what is my intention around this? Because if I had set my intention around when I was working on my videos, my intention would have been that things would have gone smoothly, that I would have the right insights, that that I would be, I'd have all the help with the technology that I needed. And it would have gone so much smoother, but I didn't. I got up, got my coffee, started just pluttering around. And then I very 3D human, very much just started plugging from one thing to the next. And before I know it, I was frustrated and I was struggling. And then thankfully I've got, I got the nudge from my guides because that the intention of me doing my videos first and foremost is my joy. I love to do it. I love the creativity. I love the learning. I love all of that. It is, it is just so much fun. The challenge of it. I enjoy the challenge of it. You know, I'm 62 now and I'm learning new things every single day. And I love that. That's going to keep my brain young. And, and that's my intention is to stay healthy and vital and engaged in my life. And engagement is another intention that I have. I want to be engaged. I want to feel my life full of juice and, and all of the goodness that, that comes from having things that you're interested in. So those are my intentions, but I didn't set those intentions. And so I got pulled right down that negative road and my frequency was really, really low. So let's start by setting our intention. Remember, and setting your intention to be reminded. Because I know that part of my journey has been, I will get really focused and I'll be doing really, really well for some days or maybe even part of a day. And then I just get sidetracked. I get busy with my 3D life. And then hours and hours will go by and I'll realize I have not been intentional for hardly a minute during this time. I want to live intentionally and I want to live spirit led. I want to live spirit led. And, and what does that mean? It means that in each moment with each decision that I know that I have helpers that are giving me nudges to go one way or the other. We all do. You know, people will say to me, well, ask your guides if you should do this. Ask your guides. It doesn't work that way. I have to navigate my life in the same way that you all have to navigate yours. That's why we became human. There's no calling up and saying, so am I supposed to do blah, blah, blah? No, it doesn't work that way. They don't give me those kinds of answers. They would give me the same kind of answer they would give you guys. And that would be something like settle into your heart, take a breath, what feels the most exciting, what brings you the most passion. They're calling us to joy. And that is how we navigate. And so in each individual moment throughout our day, living deliberately, living consciously and living spirit led means that you settle into your heart and you say to yourself, what feels better in this moment? Am I basking in the knowing of my love, of my divinity? Just that. What does that mean? It means that in any given moment, taking just a minute and taking a breath, taking a breath, Feeling the edges of the space that you create within yourself, you're creating space and knowing that that space is an invitation. With your intention, you don't have to say the words, but they feel you. When you do that, all of those beings of light, it's like we turn up our little beacon on the top of our heads and they're like, ah, here we go. Because that's the relationship that we're working for. We're working for the relationship between us and our higher self, us and our guides, us and our angels, it, the words don't matter because we're all one. So I have really been trying to live a spirit-led life. And so, and, and I've been failing remarkably and I've been successful remarkably too. It's honestly, it's a journey, it's both. But to circle back, you know, I know I have, they have shown me how we create our own life. They have shown me how we are 
And Bashar says this too, which was very validating for me because we know that they've been doing this work for a long, long, long time. Bashar said that a, over a billion times in a second, our dimension shifts. Now think about that. He, they likened it to um, like the, the clips of a, of a movie reel. <laughs> that we are shifting through these dimensions so fast that we don't see that. But you know what that means for you and I? It means that we have all of that opportunity. That there's nothing is set in stone. When you look to the future and you think, oh my goodness, it's all shit. It's all just crap. When you look at that, you can say to yourself, no, nothing is set in stone because I am shifting through dimensions all the time. And the sense that I get, I've used the analogy before of a boogie board, like I'm riding the frequency. And that is very accurate, I think, because as I do things like this, that are getting me excited, that are raising my frequency. My boogie board is going to the higher end where all of the things that are in my sandboxes are. I'm not giving up on that interview with Oprah. Someday, you never know. Someday, Oprah Winfrey might call me and say, Kelly, I heard you wanted to meet me. How fun would that be? Feel the energy of that. It's just so much fun. So we have deliberate control. But we also have momentum. There's the momentum of, of, of a given time in our life. That's when faith comes in. That's when even if what is before you isn't looking the way you want it, you can just say in your mind, everything is working out for my highest good. Everything is working out for my highest good. And I know that some of you are going through very difficult times. And I'm very sorry for that. But I want to call you to any moment that you can just have the knowing that you're loved, the knowing that you're cared for, the knowing that you're seen, because you are, I promise you, you are. And honestly, for me, when I just recently, there's been a, a thing going on in my life, and I, I don't think I'll go into all the details of it, but it's a it's a thing. When I think about that thing, it tugs at my worry bones. It make it it pulls that worry. So instead of I was I was kind of experimenting and I was trying to take that situation, take it into my mind and what Abraham Hicks would call clean it up. I was trying to clean it up, but I realized that I was not having a lot of success with that. That when I put my focus onto the actual it, that I, ugh, I was being, my energy wasn't coming where I wanted it to be. So I said to myself, I don't have to raise my energy on that issue. If my energy is high, this issue is going to follow. That is how it works. We can use our imagination. We can pretend. We can pretend and raise our vibration. And the, the troubling things in our life, if our vibration is high enough, they're no longer a vibrational match. And you will start to see the magic in your life. I've seen this work over and over and over again. It, you, every experience in our life we are a vibrational match too. So if the experiences in your life are not what you want, then shift your own frequency, even if it means just using your imagination. I've said many times, and the guides have said through me, humans use their imagination for worry. What if? What if that happens? What if that happens? Or what if I can't pay my bills? What if I, what if I, what if I, what if I? all of that stuff. We, that is imagination. And oh boy, the, the society looks at that and says, oh, well, you know, she, she just worries a lot and that's okay. But when we talk about flying through the stars and with our unicorns, and we talk about the magic of the night before Christmas and the, and the anticipation of getting up and having any possible thing be under that tree, well, then we're it's fantasy and we're, we're being silly to, to use our minds that way. But I'm here to tell you, 
that there are so many things in my life that have come to fruition that I would not have dreamed possible because I just played. I play in my sandboxes, meaning I just, I, the way it feels to me right now, you guys, I, I, have, I don't know that I've shared this before, but I feel like I'm casting an energetic line. I'm casting an energetic line when I think I might think something to myself like, oh, I was watching an Alex Ferrari thing and he said, returning champion. And I just had this quick thing flop into my mind and it was like a little energy line where I thought, returning champion, Kelly Boker. You know, it's that feels exciting to me. Do I care? Am I going to be sad if it doesn't happen? No, I'm not invested in it at all. But But wouldn't it be fun if it happened? There are so many things happening in my life that are the result of exactly that. This little country girl from Lee, Maine, I'm having so many experiences that are just so far outside of what I would have ever dreamed. So I just want to invite you, remind you that we do have power in our life and that even when it feels like you don't, if you can just drop into your heart and just sense the love of the universe for you. And if that doesn't feel good to you, sense the love of the universe for the animals, for the trees, for the grass, for the ocean. Whatever gives you that raise in your own vibration. Watch those videos of the giggling babies, the puppies and the kitties. The things that raise you, make you laugh, lift your vibration, that is powerful. Though, And when we do that deliberately, when we do that with our intention, we set our intention that I am going to consciously and deliberately be in charge of my frequency today. And I ask for all the help in the universe. Then the silly fun things come across and you see them and you're like, okay, I see that. That's you guys. That's you guys giving me that little lift. Thank you for that. That is that relationship that we're working on. So I hope this has been helpful to all of you. It's just it is so powerful for me on my journey when I sit down across from my computer and I talk to you all like I'm talking to my best friend. And it also helps me. It, it just, it's such a blessing to me. It, it cleans my energy up around these issues. And so I thank you. I thank you for listening. I thank you for being part of my journey. And I ask for you to su subscribe, of course, and, and maybe leave me a comment or a question. Sometimes I do these because of questions I get under my videos. So that's always exciting. And if I've ever missed a question, I for please forgive me, I'm human. Go to my YouTube, check out my website, www.presentmomentmagic.net. It will give you all kinds of information on what I've got going on. And I do have some retreats coming up. I'd love to have you join me. That would be great fun. Have a great day, everybody, and showers of blessings on all of you. Bye-bye.